I believe, as a human being, that the hustle and bustle of life, urban and rural, has rendered us blind to paranormal sightings that us, as primitive people, would have noticed. Such as shadows in the corners of our eyes and things that just don't add up in the streets. This is not my first encounter with shadow beings, and it hasn't been my most recent, but the story I'm going to tell you really makes my blood turn to ice. I'm unsure why, but this particular incident had a very negative energy surrounding it. My grandma, whom I'm very close with, suffers from dementia, and because of this, the rest of my family decided to put her into a care home so that she could be better looked after. This wasn't in a bad way as someone from our family visited at least once every other day and I made sure to go and see her at least two or three times in a week. Where she was staying, a place I'm not going to name because I don't want to ruin the reputation of it as they did and still do take very great care of my gran was an old, very, very large mansion in a village that was about five miles from a very large city. It was an upper class area, nice and solitary, yet still close enough to a city to be normal and urbanised. The care home, however, on the exterior at least, had remained unchanged since the early 1900s, maybe the late 1800s, and on the inside, many big rooms had been split into smaller rooms for residents. My grandma was on the third floor. There were actually five altogether. There was also the ground floor and a basement where the kitchen was based. Her room was quite small. Not the biggest room in the building, or on the floor in all fairness, but still a decent size. This wasn't what bothered me. What bothered me was the negativity the room gave. I wouldn't say I was attuned to a spirit realm or anything like that, but I do personally believe. However, this feeling went unnoticed or maybe ignored by workers and my gran was completely oblivious to any dark energies. At the start, my grandma settled in fine and I began to put the energies of the room to the back of my head. However, after a month or so, things began to move around in her room and my gran was adamant it wasn't her. I could feel the dark energies, but obviously, with her condition, I couldn't exactly blame a ghost over her and it didn't really seem to scare her or anything. Things began to get worse, or more like intense. I'd visit my gran in the early morning as I worked odd hours and the home had a 24 hour family access through the use of an electronic keycard and the night staff. And I'd get to her room to see her drawers open, the TV on and glass and pots on the floor even though my gran was asleep. Technically I had 24 hour access but if relatives were asleep you were not supposed to wake them. However most of the staff knew my relationship with my gran and turned a blind eye. Things only got worse as I would hear bangs in her room as the keycard beeped to let me in and her wardrobe door would be open and clothes scattered on the floor. One night, about a year after my gran had moved into the home, I, against every shred of the home's protocol, decided to stay over for the night as it was her birthday the next day and I had, only by coincidence, had the day off. Me and my gran stayed up very late, watching crappy films and eating sweets and chatting. I slept on the floor and at around 2am, I woke up as I needed the loo. The dark energy was really strong when I woke up. I could feel it and most of the time nowadays, I managed to ignore it. I did my best to ignore it this time and went to the toilet. I had to walk down a very long, narrow corridor to go to the guest toilets as my grand's room did not have an ensuite. As I came out of the toilets, one of the hall lights was flickering. 
I don't think this had anything to do with the negative energy or that it meant anything at all, but that and being three floors above the staff room creeped me the hell out. However, nothing could have prepared me for what I saw when I entered my grand's room. The room was very dark, but not completely as small slivers of light were coming through the closed curtains and I noticed my grand's wardrobe was open. I gasped and quickly looked over to her bed to see a large, around eight foot tall shadow looming over the bed where she was sleeping. I could clearly make out the form of a human as it leant over my gran and quickly looked up. It had no eyes, but due to positioning, I could tell it was looking at me. It shifted position and was against the wall with its arms spread wide. The thing must have been six feet wide as well. I was panicking yet frozen in the doorway and the shadow flashed across the room and into the wardrobe. I actually witnessed the door slam. And then there was silence. I didn't want to disturb my gran and lay on the floor, scared. I didn't get a scrap of sleep and the next morning I gently asked my gran about visitors and such. She beamed at me and told me one of her friends she'd known since childhood often came to visit at nights before me. I found this odd and asked who and where she lived. My gran told me it was Beatrice and that she didn't live anywhere because she's been dead for 20 years. My gran started to laugh and again due to her condition I didn't know if Beatrice was perhaps still alive. I asked my mum and she informed me that Beatrice was in fact dead. I don't believe my gran's childhood friend would haunt her so negatively or even at all. So I personally thought it was something more sinister masking as Beatrice. I put in a formal and informal request that my grand's condition seemed to be worsening and that she needed to be moved to a lower floor. This was happily accepted and a few of the staff gave me a look that screamed, don't worry, I know, but we never spoke about it. Nowadays my gran is happy and the room she is in is much fresher and positive. I asked her if she'd been visited by Beatrice lately and uh, a tear came to her eye as she said no and that she missed her lots. I was sad and relieved, but honestly, mostly relieved as I don't think the shadow figure was Beatrice. I had been back to the third floor room twice, and both times I still felt really uneasy. There is someone else in there now, so I haven't been back, nor have I asked anyone about the lingering dark energy. Hey guys, James here. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and um, give it a like. If you've got any idea for any future videos that you'd like, um, just drop a comment and um, I'll get to it. Uh, I've got some big collaborations coming up in the coming weeks and just to remind everyone, the upload date has been changed to Fridays. So uh, thank you very much for your continued support guys. Peace. Yeah. Uh -huh.